Welcome to Tamar Bowling Video Ball Reviews. For all your bowling needs, check out our partner PerfectGameBowling.com. Today we're testing the new Hammer Black Widow Gold. Tester 1 is yours truly, a medium speed lefty tweener. Tester 2 is a higher rev, rev dominant player. Tester 3 is a high speed, high rev player. We are testing on a 40 foot medium house shot. First impressions, the Hammer Black Widow Gold moves big time, whoa. This ball really packs a big punch down lane. For house shot value, we gave the Black Widow Gold a 9 out of 10. Hammer's now able to regularly release that venerable gas mask cord Black Widow into moderately priced territory. And with the Semtex Pro cover stock, it makes this ball immensely usable on house conditions. Overall, we gave the Black Widow Gold a 9 out of 10. Hammer says they combined one of their most angular cores and covers to create the Black Widow Gold. Whatever the hype, the ball is the real deal. The cover allows for good length and the combination core and cover has this ball flip big time down lane. It's sort of skid flip reaction and is a lot of ball that covers lots of ground. However, the cover allows it to store lots of energy and I have to say that everyone found this ball's continuation through the pins outstanding. As soon as I picked up the ball, I realized it's going to be straightforward. Throw it away from the pocket and trust that it'll come roaring back. I typically shy away from skid flip type balls. However, the Black Widow Gold displayed a strong characteristic of consistent motion down lane. It benefits from being strong down lane but also asymmetric, so you get a strong transition and heavy roll through the pins. It consistently came off the spot with the same angle and finishing really strong, typically coming off the deck between the 8 and 9. I got quite comfortable at 17 to 6 and the reaction was consistent so I relaxed and I was consistent. I also had a chance to test the Black Widow Gold on a sport compliant shot. A little more direct, 13 to 6 was a more ideal line, but while the shiny out of box finish makes it more finicky, the ball was still surprisingly usable on this shot. The ball would have had a slightly better look with more surface when the shot is fresh, but the ball rolled so good in the out of box 500,000 polish that I didn't want to change much. It would be perfect as the shot breaks down. You can use it to start out if you really wanted to, but you better be on your game or target a little further out at the break point due to the strength down lane. So moving on to CJ. CJ has a little higher rev rate and he also picked up the ball and started striking right away. So it's stand left, throw right. CJ right away mentioned that he could easily see himself using this ball on the house shots he faces. He also found the shot pretty quickly from about 18 to 6. And even with the pin down layout to slow it down a bit, you can see the ball's baseline characteristics. Length and lots of punch down length. And Sean is our highest rev tester at close to 500 RPM and Sean was the deepest playing about 22 to 7. Again same reaction CJ and I saw, he got his deepest 26 to 6 and still had that strong move through the pins, I mean the video speaks for itself. So for our final thoughts, I mean what do you think we think of the Black Widow Gold? You know honestly it's like I said stand left, throw right, it seems like it's what a lot of bowlers want to do these days and Hammer delivered that. And while I'm not typically a fan of skid flip reaction due to the inconsistency, the gold really offers a surprisingly consistent motion. It's strong off the spot and seems to have a consistent reliable motion down lane. And when you can get this strong a motion down lane with the reliability of a benchmark, you have a gem. I'm comfortable saying Hammer gave us a gem with the Black Widow Gold. And just to very briefly touch on the shots that didn't make the cut, honestly there are very few misses across the board for us. The Black Widow Gold really opens up the shot, but the most obvious thing is that if you're gonna miss, miss out. The ball has too much movement to hold from in. Thank you for watching Tamar Bowling Video Ball Review.